party people hello hello it's randy from thunder horse descendant i am here for the dress it up buttons channel today and i'm so excited you guys I'm so excited i have mini mouse right so before we flip down to the mat and we start looking at our mini mouse you guys we have to plug in our hot glue gun so it's ready <laughs> I gotta plug my hot glue gun in so we can get ready for this Minnie Mouse project. I'm super excited. Hi, Rosanna. Hey, Rosanna, will you give this video a share and make sure to make comment when you log on because I can't share when I'm live. I would appreciate that. At the very least, you can share it over to Thunder Horse Descendant. And I will plug in the glue gun. Get your glue guns warmed up. warming the glue gun up. I better get my bacon sheet mat out. So if you um, are looking for something to work on, FYI, um, I order these baking sheets. These are like things you put in your oven. So they are oven safe and it's supposed to be like for under the oven where all the stuff drips, you know, so you can put this in your in your oven. But I use this when I'm using my hot glue gun and I also use it when I'm working with like patina paints or something like that because it cleans up really well and it's like heat safe and y'all know how I am with fire. <laughs> not good. It's not good. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this down underneath my hot glue gun. So we don't have any wrecks here today and I'm also going to get this little just this little thing for my dripping and we'll be on our way to Minnie Mouse Express here we go thank you Rosanna I'm refreshing the comments oh now I see your comment so let's get down to the mat and let's see what we're going to make today I'm gonna flip you around and get you all arranged. I was trying to fix my new tripod, my old tripod today. And you know, it's just been kind of, it's just been kind of a problem. Because I didn't want you to see that. Hmm. Decisions. Decisions, decisions. Okay, give me one second. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Hi guys, sorry, I'm going to flip you back over. It appears that my makeshift fixing the claw tripod situation didn't work out. I ordered something off the plumbing website hoping I could fix it, but it didn't work. So now we're going to use my other one. And if you've never seen this one, this is actually like a portable selfie stick. The tripod saga continues. So we'll just get this set up real quick and then we'll have ourselves a wonderful day. All righty, flip this around, flip you around. Now we should be good to go. Yes, that's better. All righty. So here we are on the mat. And we're going to make this cute little Minnie Mouse necklace today. So I was thinking, you know, Halloween's coming up. And if you're going to be doing some Minnie Mouse themed stuff, you might want this. But also, these little necklaces are super cute for like mother-daughter necklaces or sisters or, you know, um, my niece recently had a party where everybody wore Minnie Mouse ears and stuff like that. So I was super excited. So before we jump into the necklace, I'm going to show you the packet of buttons that Dress It Up Buttons was gracious, gracious enough to send over. It comes in a little pack like this. These are the Minnie Mouse. It's called Polka Dot Assortment. I'm refreshing my comments. 
And in this polka dot assortment, you get quite a few things. You get all these little flower buttons. And you get some Minnie Mouse. You get these ones, which are actually flat back, which are pretty cool for just gluing on to things. And all these cute little rhinestone. This one they call the Minnie Mouse rhinestone, which we're going to use this one today, I think. And then it even comes with flip flops and an ice cream cone. So super cute. I don't know if you guys seen the tour that Sarah did the other day. She toured um, the JJB during the Mojo. And she told about how they make all of these buttons and that how that this is how they started out. And um, she, she showed how they were like doing the dyeing process and everything. So super cute. This is the little assortment that you would get if you got the polka dot Minnie Mouse assortment. And I believe someone will be on here today to share our materials list. But in the interim, oh, this one just came flying out of the pack. We will get started. So what we are going to actually be using from this pack today is we're, these are pretty simple necklaces. So if you wanted to make two, you probably could. In the two markups that I used, I did these two. These two little buttons I thought were cute. So, but I think I'll just use this rhinestone one today. And then with this rhinestone one, I made a flower. So I used this red flower last time. So I think this time I'll use this white flower. It's basically the same flower. It's just different color. So I'm going to use these two. And then we will put the rest of our buttons back in the little pouch. Who knows? Maybe we'll feel snazzy and we'll whip up two. But for right now, I'm just going to do this one. Okay, so this is the one that we're going to make. I'm using Blackberry Baby Mini Bead Mix from JJB, from Jesse James Beads. And so I have cracked into this one, but there's quite a few beads in here, so I'm only going to be grabbing a few beads out of here for my necklace. And I'm just going to grab some of these larger beads, which are glass. And I'm also going to grab one of these really big rondelles. Hi, thank you for the like sign. I'm going to grab this uh, Chinese crystal. It's white on one side, black on the other. And these two. Just a little flower charm and just a little... Just another little check glass. And that's all we really need, I believe. You could use whatever beads you want from the mix, or if you have some left over, like look at this little disco ball, it's super cute. This is from the Blackberry Baby Mix. So there was a lot of cute little pieces in here, but most of them are glass, so I really like this mix a lot. Okay. Now, fun facts, this whole necklace is based on this two inch safety pin. I saw these uh, and got them at Walmart actually, um, in the sewing section over by where they keep the Jesse James buttons, right? <laughs> so if you're f not familiar, um, I got this at the Walmart. It's two inch safety pin, and that's what we are going to make our necklace onto, which I thought was kind of cute. I'm going to be adding two little check glass leaf beads to make my flower. Hi from Arizona. Hi Susie. And then I'm going to be adding my beetle on chain. So this is beetle on chain 5.5 millimeter in the color hematite. I already did use some, so that's why it looks like that. But I just wanted to make sure I had the package to show you. Hi, Sherry. So we're going to be using this kind of heavier chain. And I thought that looked really cute with the, uh, with the red and black. Okay, other things we're going to need is we are going to need some 22 gauge wire. I have artistic wire here. This one is 20 gauge. 
So I got to get the 22. You could use 20 if you would like. Doesn't really matter. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, and then I have the Beetle On Findings Pack. So we have been using this one for quite some time now. We've used it in a couple of projects. So I'm just going to get a lobster claw out of here and a couple of jump rings. I think I need about three jump rings. Woo! Throw my beads all over. You got your glue gun warming up? Warm the glue gun up. <laughs> Last time I was I, I was freaking out that I didn't have the warm the glue gun warmed up enough. Okay, then I do have a little smidge of fairy silk here. Now you you could use ribbon or whatever you want, but I have this little smidge of fairy silk in red, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. Other fun facts, if you didn't want to use the chain for this necklace, you very well could just grab yourself a piece of this fairy silk and use that instead of the chain. Completely up to you because it matches perfectly with our Minnie Mouse. But that is at your own discretion. Do what you want. Hello, PK. Work interferes with my real life. <laughs> yeah? That work interfered with your real life? That's that's horrible. <laughs> now, I am going to grab two large jump rings, if I can find them. I need some large, like, 12 millimeter silver jump rings. You don't have to use them that big, but I just liked them for this project. Because I, uh, I did, because I liked them. But... You know, things and stuff. I don't know where they went. Anyway, here we go. Let's get this party started, shall we? So I'm going to get a little piece of my 22 gauge wire because I love my 22 gauge wire. And just going to get a little piece of that. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to construct this flower right here. So this is what the flower looks like from the front. Okay, so you can see that this is just wire wrapped. We're going to start at the bottom here. We're going to put the charm on. Do the stem on the back of this flower. I've just utilized the button to do put the leaves on. So that's what we're going to do. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my round nose plier. And I'm going to start with a leaf. Okay, so I'm going to put this leaf on here. And this has a front drilled hole, or like a top center drilled hole. So this is how I do that. You just fold it over the top. Chain nose fire, where did you go? Here you are. Hi, Gina. So once you got it on there like so, you're just going to grab a hold right above the bead. Do 90 degrees on your wire right here. And you're just going to spin this one around like so. Hmm, I'm looking through the camera. I should probably stop doing that because it got weird. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, then I'm just going to trim that off. And tuck that in so it doesn't hurt anybody. And now we have a cute little start to our, to our leaf. So now we're just going to wire wrap as we normally would. We're going to grab a hold of it with the round nose. Bend it down. Pull this wire over the top. Spin your plier. You're going to go completely all the way to the other side, 90 degrees. Spin it again and wrap this. Okay, so if you want to go down more, you can. If you want to go down around the top of your other wrap, you can. It's completely up to you. But you get it wrapped up where you like it. You're going to take your 
plush cutter. Cut that off. Throw a wire across the room. Nobody cares. It's Tuesday. Nobody's nobody's caring about that on a Tuesday. So there you have your little leaf. So there's one leaf. Hi, Randy and friends. I love everything Disney. Oh, <laughs> good, Gina. We're glad. Glad to hear it. So now what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm actually going to make a bridge for my flower. Okay. So basically what I got to do, because I want the leaves to kind of move, is I want to have one here. I got to have a bridge to go through this flower so it'll keep it on there. So in order to do that, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not going to put any beads on. I'm going to bend over the top, spin your plier all the way around so it looks like a loop. Spin again. And before I wrap this, I should probably put my leaf on there. Where'd he go? There it is. I'm going to attach this loop into this loop. And then I'm just going to wrap this up. Give that a little trim. And then I'm going to put on, this is my Minnie Mouse. So this is not what I want. This is my flower. <laughs> Don't put your Minnie Mouse on there. You want to put your flower on there. So then I'm going to run this through the shank of the button. Okay. So I'm just making sure that I've made this large enough where it's not going to come through the shank of the button, which I believe I have done. And then right here, I'm going to add my other leaf. So I should probably get my other leaf ready. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Get our other leaf ready, stick it through the top, pull it up like this, boop, until they crisscross. Put your finger in there, bring it down. And then I like to work on this side just because I'm right handed, okay? Then you're going to grab right above the bead, and you're just going to kind of make a little nest with your nail there, wrap that around. Easy peasy. With this one, you only have to go a couple times because you're going to be going over the top of it anyway. Hi, Debbie. Easy peasy. Then we're going to go on top and we're going to make our loop, wire wrapped loop, over the top. Spin all the way around. Looks like a loop. Wrap it around. Ba-doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Easy peasy. Alrighty. Tuck all that stuff in just in case you don't want to bite anybody. And now you got yourself a little leaf. So now I'm going to put my leaf onto my flower. So in order to do that, I'm just going to leave a little bit of space. And I'm going to bend right here. I'm going to make a loop. Spin. Bring it around so it looks like a loop. But before I close it up, I'm going to sneak that other leaf in there. Like that. Okay. So now I can close it up. Gonna wind this around and it doesn't matter how far I wind down, you know, because this is gonna be pretty much behind the flower anyways. I'm just gonna go down like that. 
Then trim that off and tuck it in. All right, so now here's our flower. Okay, so now he's got his leaves on. Now I'm gonna put the stem on. So I made them kind of loose because this is gonna be a necklace and I do want these to like move around, you know what I mean? So this is what the back looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we do, now we're gonna do the stem of the flower. So the stem of the flower is going to be hooked on to the actual shank of the butt. So I gotta get another piece of wire. Now for this one, I've hung a little charm. So we're gonna start with that. So we're gonna leave about an inch of space from the tip of the wire. Okay, bend over the top. Spin your plier all the way around to the other side so it looks like a loop. Okay, before you close it, you're gonna take this out and you're gonna put your charm on there. Sometimes you gotta pull the loop Sometimes you kind of got to open this little loop like a dump ring a little bit because it to get the charm on there. Okay, so let's get him on there. And then you're going to close him up by holding on to the loop. And spinning this little wire around. You guys, I just taught my aunt how to bead over the vacation break. And what I found out she was doing, so I will mention this, is that um, you just spin the tail. Don't spin this. She was like doing like a twist tie kind of motion. And we didn't realize it until later. So FYI, you're only spinning that tail. And you're leaving this one straight. So there's our charm. And now we put our beads on. So for the beads that I'm gonna put on here, I got this little round one. And I got this kind of cool two-tone crystal. I'll put that one on there. Mm-hmm. And so that's gonna be our stem. Easy peasy, right? So your flower, when it hangs, is going to hang by this little loop right here. Straighten them out so it looks kind of decent. This little loop that you put on that also has this leaf attached to it, this is how we're going to hang it on the safety pin. So it's going to hang like this. So when you're attaching your flower, your loop right here should be going this way, not this way. This way. So in order to make this look like a stem, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little extra space, but we're going to wrap that space with wire so it's fine. But we're going to give it a little extra space just to get around and be a stem on the flower. So just making a loop like I normally would. I haven't gone all the way around with it yet. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it through the shank of the button through the shank of the button, making sure not to get involved in anything else there. Just the shank, nothing more. Don't be getting, don't be getting involved with anything else. <laughs> okay, so then once I have my button on there, I'm gonna go then again, and I'm gonna grab a hold of this, this loop. Now, if this loop looks funny, it's fine because this is gonna be behind the button. We're just going to wind it down until we get tight on the beads. Easy peasy. 
Cut that off. Make sure that little guy is tucked in there. Oh, if you wind up in this situation like I have done, you see my charm is the other way around. It's okay. We're just going to give him... Just, you can get about a half a spin out of there before you start messing, breaking stuff up. Alrighty. So now here comes the easy part. The easy part is putting all your things onto your safety pin. So this is what your safety pin is going to look like. So when making this necklace, I wanted to be sure that I am using my safety pin this way. Okay, why you ask? Because we are going to glue onto it and then if we do it this way instead of this way, it's easier to glue the to glue the button and so that once you have this shut that you can then glue this shut in order to make sure that's not gonna, you know, it shouldn't jump out and poke anybody. It's just this kind of a safety measure in my personal opinion. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to add a bead onto the safety pin. Then we're going to add our flower onto this loop that I had showed you. Oh, we got him. This is the back. Okay, so we got, so when you flip it around, it'll be like this. Okay, so right now we're on the back. So again, this is the loop we created, not the loop that the leaf is on, the loop that's on the flower, because that's what's holding your stuff together. Okay, then we're going to put on this other bead. Just right onto the safety pin. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to get our Minnie Mouse. So this is the Minnie Mouse that I chose. It's got rhinestones on it because obviously I need rhinestones in my life. And we're just going to put Minnie Mouse right on there as well. Okay. And we're going to close it up. So we've got a little bit of space to close it, but we can do it. There we go. So again, this is the back. And this is what the front looks like. Cute, right? It's got your little flower and your little dangly leaves that move. I thought it was cute. So now, to ensure that this is going to stay closed, what we're going to do is we're going to get our, our hot glue out. And before we get our hot glue out though, that is cute. <laughs> I know, right? I'm gonna take this oval jump ring. Now this one is not as large as I would like. It did come in the beetle on kit. It's hematite color or gunmetal color. It's not as large as I would as I would like, but we'll see if it'll work. And I'm going to put it into the eye of this safety pin. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. I think it will be fine. So for right now, I'm going to close it up. But I'm just putting this here as a measure so that I don't glue over the top of it. Because I want to glue my button over the top so you cannot see this. Okay, you see? So you can't really see this. I'm going to glue it kind of at an angle. But I don't want, my chain has to go here. And I don't want that to be in the way. So I got to make sure I'm getting that out of the way before I just start gluing and going. So just for good measure, I'll put this one on the other side. This is how it hangs. So and then there's a little loop right here in your safety pin. You just go right there with that. And that's where we'll put our chain. So we're working on the back here. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my fairy silk. Now if you had just some regular ribbon or, you know, maybe something that's not too itchy because this might be up against your skin at some point. I'm just gonna grab about an inch. Probably won't even need an inch, but this has that little thing on it. Get out of here, you. If you got a little piece of scrap laying around, a little piece of fabric, something, you just need a little bit. And the reason we're using this 
is so that when we glue, I feel like it's better to glue something onto there. So number one, once the glue is dry, it doesn't like stick to you should you get hot or whatever. But also um, because it's going to make it sturdier. So. <clears throat> And make sure that I can eyeball this up pretty good. So, I want my beads to be over here. So, I'm going to glue about right here. And I'm going to glue over the top of this and I'm going to lay my little piece right over the top of the glue like that. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And hopefully not get hot glue on my on my bead mat because that's always not great. So I'm going to glue a little onto where the safety pin goes, a little over the shank, a little over this little piece of metal right here, just with hot glue. And then I'm going to take my little piece of fabric and or ribbon or whatever you got and I'm just going to lay that over the top. And I'm going to use the back of this little paintbrush so don't burn my fingies. Oh, it stuck to me. Oh, it stuck to me some more. And I'm just going to get that glued down in the back. This also, this fairy silk is also red so it matches the button. Sparkly mini! <laughs> yeah, right? So I'll let that dry while that's drying up. I'm going to go to my chain now and I'm going to measure out how large I would like my necklace to be. Now, like I said, if you wanted, this is what it looks like with chain on. Okay. But if you didn't want to use the chain and you wanted to use the fairy silk, you could just tie right onto your jump ring and go with your fairy silk as well. Or maybe both. Who knows? Maybe you're maybe you're going for it today and you just want to use both. This one is dry. I used a different color fairy silk on this one. But you can see that I used it to to touch the button and the two pieces of metal just for a more secure finish. And I have wore this, it didn't have any problems. So I got this little piece of chain. I wonder if that's going to be enough. Let's get our measuring, our froggy measuring tape out here. If I cut this little piece in half, that's going to give me... Hmm, about 16 inches. And I could use an extender chain, so I'm sure it'll be fine. So now I'm just going to cut this in half. A thing to do if you want to cut things in half is you just put them on a little piece of scrap wire. And you just hang it and let gravity be your friend. Gravity will tell you where the middle is. And then you can just open that one up. You can just poke yourself with a plier. There we go. So now we got two equal pieces of chain. We come back to our little mini. And now I'm just going to open up these. jump rings and put my chain on. You could also do this with like chain reaction or you know like I said the, f the fairy silk or whatever you got. Ribbon of some kind. But I mean if we're being honest about it I wanted to wear this and I thought I think I want it on a chain. A big chunky chain I thought. That'll really play up that Minnie Mouse, <laughs> if we're being honest about it. That's how that was going, going down. <laughs> yeah. 
so now we just take our other jump rings we got in our pack here and we're just going to do I put the lobster claw on the right side because I am right-handed if you're left-handed you should put your lobster claw on the left side because that you are left-handed well oh, does this one have a this is like the tiniest little clasp I need a bigger clasp I need a bigger one do I have a bigger one That one's pretty little, honestly. Pretty little. Here we go. There. That one's a little more matching the size of this chain. I don't want it to go flying off because I didn't have a little tiny lobster claw on there. All right. There we go. And this side. Now, I am going to put an extender on here because I think this one is going to be literally about 16, 17 inches. And I want to have an extender chain on it. It'll probably be 17 inches. So, I'm just going to use this different colored extender chain because it's just for me anyway. And I don't care about that. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, put this on there, make sure it's good to go. And it is. So there is that one. Here's the one I made the other day with the red flower. So those are the same with the movable leaves, right? And then here's another one with a mini, and that one has a tassel on. It still has the flower, a little different situation, but you know, if you had a bunch of cute little buttons, like this button pack that you get, it comes with quite a few different minis. And I really love mini, so anyway. <laughs> comes with quite a few different minis and quite a few different flowers. Now these are also different sizes of flowers. So I really like these flowers and I wanted to use them and make them cute. And um, a bunch of different minis, like here's a different mini. So it's kind of just your preference, I guess. So let's try it on, shall we? I'm gonna see if I can put you back in the claw though. I think the claw is better for this. Maybe. Maybe it is. Doesn't go flopping down. Get this one out of the way. <laughs> okay, let me put it on. Let me take this one off. Yay! Hi, Randy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Clarice. Hey, y'all. Let me just scoot you down a little bit so you can see my neck here. So this is the one we just made. And so see, by gluing that button, so when it hangs, it's not going to like flop forward. You know what I mean? Like that's the whole purpose of gluing it. Also, for the purpose of gluing closed your safety pin, right? Because we want safety first, y'all. Safety first. Safety first on a Tuesday. I love your design. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I got this little tiny chain. I gotta get it together. With my big honking clasp. There we go. Oh, it's actually turned out to be a little longer. 18. Mm -hmm. So that's how it looks on. So it's not gonna flop around. And you know, like this button's not gonna flop around or do anything. The whole piece has to move. But I do love the little cute little jangly bits. I love some jangly bits. I got lipstick to match, so I'm good to go. Good to go. <laughs> but wouldn't these be cute for like 
mother-daughter necklaces or little friends or if you're going to Disneyland. I've never been to Disneyland. I would love to go. Uh, you know, birthday parties. Those girls always have the ears on. Like, super cute. Maybe you're going to be Minnie Mouse for Halloween. And if you're not, maybe you should. You know, there's all kinds of things to consider. <laughs> yeah, I think they're super cute. I really like them a lot. And they're fairly easy to make. In this pack on, on Dress It Up Buttons, I think it's like, I should have looked. I don't know if it's like $8. I'm not sure. But you get you could make quite a few of these in there because there's like four or five different minis, different looking minis, all the different flowers, and then also the rhinestone, this one, the rhinestone heads. There's a bunch of those too. So like, score. Anyways, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful, spectacular, amazing beading day and or crafting day. I have to remember to turn off this glue gun because safety first. Um, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy this project. If you do, please make sure to let us know by doing a thumbs up, making a comment, giving this video a share. Please do all those things. Thank you to Dress It Up Buttons for having me on their live. And I will see you guys tonight on Thunder Horse Descendant at 8 o'clock for Bingo. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.